Hello and welcome to another episode or instance of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Taylor. My name is Tadej. Hello. And today we are going to discuss all the basic features and I would say the most common attributes which are assigned to products in the category of night vision monoculars. So I know today you went through most of the questions we received in the past about these products. You also went through our guidelines on our webpage, uh, uh, which products we list into this category. And I would uh, suggest that we start with, with some basic explanations. Well, as I said, uh, the night vision monoculars, mm -hmm. uh, our customers already know that they have some resemblance to night vision binoculars. Uh, binoculars mm -hmm. with two eyes, monoculars with uh, one eye, separate eye. Mm -hmm. um, the most basic question is, of course, how do we actually define the night vision monoculars? Well, in this category, we have all the monoculars which consist of an analog uh, image intensifying tube. So we also have a category of digital night vision monoculars uh, or digital night vision scopes. Uh, however, uh, these devices uh, differ between themselves that in this category we have the analog devices with image intensifying tubes, while in digital uh, category we have devices which have sensors and, and displays. Uh, the difference compared to the binoculars is that if you combine two monoculars into one with a bridge in the center, you basically get a, a binocular. While if you use it like this uh, alone, then it's a monocular. If it's made only from one single tube meant to use with only one eye. Uh, there are many advantages normally and disadvantages of this approach. Uh, if I go through, through them, I, will go, I would start with advantages, what do you say? Yes, of course. I think it's better. Why not? So the main advantage is the size, weight and price. So these devices are smaller, lighter, more compact and cheaper. They are cheaper because they consist only of one uh, segment or I would say one uh, optical construction, only one image intensifying tube. This is the reason why they are also smaller and, uh, and lighter. The disadvantage is normally that uh, looking with both eyes is much more natural and all people, I would say it's a, it's a subjective feeling, but the, when you're observing an image with both eyes, you will get an impression of better image quality. Even though this is a subjective feeling, uh, but still uh, our eyes were made to be used in pairs. So when you're using the binocular, even if the image quality, if it would be measured, would be the same, you will see the image better with two eyes. Mm -hmm. Normally, the price is bigger, uh, the weight of the device is uh, it's, uh, it's heavier and the device is in size is also bigger. So, it goes all on to the, to the simple choice, either compact, light and cheap or more affordable, or uh, if you have a binocular, heavier, bigger and more expensive but with a better image quality. In the past, uh, in the past episodes we had, we when we uh, when we made a video regarding the night vision binoculars, we already mentioned something about magnification ranges mm -hmm. uh, from two times and up to six, eight, so on. Uh, does this also apply for night vision binoculars, or are there any? Yeah, differences? it's because they're basically optically the same. Mm -hmm. So optically, uh, they're built the same way with an objective lens with an uh, eyepiece lens, all the lenses in between and prisms and then the image intensifying tube. Uh, usually, however, the magnification range goes from 1, you can get a monocular with a one time magnification and they stop at around 7 or 8. This is, I would say, the maximum. It is, however, true that with, uh, with conventional uh, monoculars made for daytime use, uh, you usually have a magnification of at least 6 or more, 6, 8, 10, 12. Uh, with night vision uh, monoculars, the magnification is lower, since the distances to the observed objects are closer, and also it's quite hard to have a good enough image intensifying tube that it would still work well at such a high magnification, so that you don't see too many pixels, even though they are not mm. pixels, this one is an analog, uh, analog device but that you see the, the image clear and that the noise is not, uh, not too hard or too bad. 
so I would say the seven or eight is the maximum identification for most of this analog uh, night vision monoclars. Mm -hmm. Normally, with really excessive price, you can even buy uh, monoclars with magnifications even much higher. And for professional use, they produce monoclars even with really extremely high magnifications, but normally it costs yes, a of fortune. Course, of course. Well, in our case, we have here this Yukon Exelon mm -hmm. Pulsar Challenger GS. Uh, they are, I can see, all, all of these three devices are designed with a uh, illumina illuminator. Is this integrated, integrated illuminator, illuminator? Is this the case with all night vision monoculars? Most of them, since only really the best image intensifying tubes of third generation uh, work without the image uh, uh, without the illuminator. Uh, all the rest. Like this are all generation one or generation two plus devices or generation two devices. They all need the uh, infrared illuminator. Mm -hmm. So most of them come with an integrated. However, in most of them also feature some sort of mounting solution, uh, either some kind of dovetail or uh, picatinny rail, where you can put additional illuminator on if you wish. So then you have two illuminators. Uh, and you get a better image resolution. You get a better, uh, better yeah, optical performance. performance. This is this is uh, the case with uh, with additional illuminator. Uh, for which for which field of use would you recommend uh, using a night vision monocular? Oh, it's really really wide uh, field of all different uses, hunting, security, uh, even normal observation of. Uh, of anything. Anybody who needs a device to be able to observe at night, even hikers and so on, can use or in marine use uh, can use a night vision monocular. So it's really, really wide field of, uh, of use. I would say most common users are hunters and security sector. Mm -hmm. So normally police and military they also use them a lot. Uh, but in the civil market, hunters I think are the and the security sector are the biggest group of users. Uh, you have already mentioned uh, briefly something about the generations of these mm -hmm. devices. Could you explain uh, to our to our viewers which generations are there uh, well, with my usual I mean, monoculars? At the end it all goes down to the image intensifying tube of which generation it is. That means we could say basically how well it will amplify light. So the quality of the image intensifying tube is defined by a generation. So the generation one, these are these devices. It's quite affordable. You can get such devices already from 200 euros upwards. Then generation two, it starts at around 1,500 euros. Generation two plus, and normally generation three. Mm -hmm. So you can find in this in this category, you can find all of these devices. Some of them you can even. Uh, configure it when you're ordering them what kind of image intensifying tube you wish to have in them. So you can have them either in generation 2, generation 2 plus or generation 3. Mm -hmm. With generation 1 they usually come built in as standard in some devices and you're not able to choose to say okay replace the image intensifying tube or or a photo cutoff Cut type, uh, yes. cut <coughs> type uh, with let's say from generation 1 to generation 2 plus. Mm -hmm. This is highly unusual but uh, you can probably choose with most manufacturers between generation 2, generation 2 plus and generation 3 and even in each generation you can choose between different tubes uh, so you, let's say for Dedal for instance they, they offer uh, or Yanke they offer um, you can have a normal commercial grade tube uh, depth 0 tube um, uh, XD4 tube or XR5 tube yes. so these are all generation 2 plus tubes but of different quality and you can also choose either to have a green tube which you everything you what you see is in green color or you can have onyx which basically means black and white mm. so on on those models which are high quality you can usually choose what kind of image intensifying tube you wish to have inside with this more affordable models generation one or generation one plus some some manufacturers use that term uh, you basically, when you buy the device, uh, it only has one option. Mm -hmm. You get the standard tube and that's it. Well, in our cases, <coughs> as we can see here, we have three analog uh, night vision devices. Mm -hmm. As I can and see, <coughs> yes. <coughs> but our customers, our viewers, <coughs> sorry, 
uh, also have to take into the account that there are also digital devices. Yeah. As mentioned. The digital devices are coming into the market quite strongly. They have some disadvantages, some advantages. We have a separate video about this. Uh, I would really highly recommend that you check it out. So digital night vision optics versus analog night vision optics. Um, what I would still like to mention at the end is how you use such monocular. It's always good to have uh, the infrared illuminator turned on, then you will see better. Uh, you probably also have seen that all these devices come with uh, caps with small filter hole in the, in the center. Never remove this cap when you are exposed to daytime uh, bright sunlight because you will damage the tube inside and the device will not work uh, the same way um, anymore. So never remove this cap if, if there is sunlight around you. And you always have two settings uh, apart from the setting where you uh, set how bright what will be the intensity level of the infrared illuminator. You have two analog settings. So one is the focus. So you usually have to turn around the objective lens. This is the focus of the target. And then you have the diopter setting at the rear where you set correct diopter compensation for your eye. So this is the same, the same principle like with, uh, with um, binoculars. Apart from that, at binoculars you have to set four different settings. So two objectives, two diopter settings on the eyepieces. Here you only have one objective and one mm -hmm. eyepiece. Uh, this is something what you really need to set correctly before you start to use uh, the device so that you see the image well and clear. Well, these are all the questions I gathered regarding I this topic. Thank you. We covered most of the things, yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you gained some new information, some valuable insight, hopefully. If uh, we forgot anything, if, if you have any additional questions, please use comments below and normally please subscribe. Take care.